Hey y'all! Okay, so this video is a follow-up video to the most recent natural hair related video that I posted sharing with y'all my opinion of the best detangling comb to grow long, thick, and healthy natural hair. In this video, I'm going to share my technique when using this type of comb. Okay guys, so the first thing I want to show you is how I actually hold the comb. I use this part of the comb to hold the comb as well as grip the comb and then I put my finger on this part of the comb to help control the movement of the comb. Putting my finger here, as I mentioned, I'm able to control how I move the comb as well as it allows me to feel when the teeth of the comb hits a knot or like a bundle of hair and whenever I come across a bundle of hair that has tangled and I'm not able to just pick through the tangles I use this tooth to pick at the bundle of hair to loosen the hairs individually that first tooth sometimes I'll use um, the second tooth as well depending on the size of the um, tangle and most times I'm only working with a small section of hair so I'll move my finger to the tip of the comb because I know that I'm only going to use maybe about this many teeth of the comb to work at the um, to detangle that section so I need to have my finger at the tip to control the teeth that I'm going to use okay so the first thing I'm going to do is start at the ends and detangle the ends and what I'm trying to do is get out any um, loose hairs or any knots at the end of this section if I come across any knots down here I'll go ahead and get the scissors and um, cut them off so what that does is prevent me from snagging at the hair which can cause me to break the hair off. Okay, so we're going to start at the ends and just make sure there are no knots. See, there's a knot right there. Okay, you see it's true. And I'm just going to get my scissors and cut that knot off. And this will help you retain length as well as help prevent any split ends. Okay, so I'm just going to comb the end. And you want to work your way up. Meaning you want to go start from the end and comb upwards towards the root. And the reason is when you start at the ends, if there's a knot or tangles, let's just say if there's a tangle of hairs, what you're doing is getting the bottom of the section of tangles and pulling it down versus if you start at the top of the section of tangles like right here, you're basically just putting a lot of tension on a section of hair like a group of hair so more than likely you may experience breakage so you want to start at the bottom of the section of tangles and comb it down you're combing the hair strands out of the bundle of tangles the bundle of hair right here and if you come across a section that's you know you kind of hesitant to allow the comb to go through just pick at it and so I just work my way up and again I'm holding the comb with this finger so that I can control the comb and also it allows me to feel when I come across a tangle that way I'll know to stop like the uh, stretching the hair or pulling on the hair and pick through turn around that way Haley.
a lot of people start at the end and then they just keep combing until they get to the roots but to me it takes so long and because I'm familiar with combing Haley's hair, my hair, Nadia's hair I know that I know how to um, start at the roots and work my way down without breakage so let me just show you what I do so I start at the roots again my finger is on the comb to help guide the comb as well as to help um, feel any tangles or knots and I just comb through. I'm picking through the hair. So what happens is when I start at the roots, any tangles that are up here, you know, starting at the root, I'm basically combing them down in the little bundle of hair as I mentioned before. So I'll comb it down but I'm very gentle and I just pick, 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 pick all the way down. And so just say if I came across a bundle of hair that wouldn't move, as you see now as I'm combing this bundle of hair right here is constantly, continuously moving down, moving down, which is a good thing. So if I came across a bundle of hair that stopped and wouldn't allow me to comb it on down, what I would do is pick at that bundle of hair. It's kind of like you can pick at it and lift up. Pick at it and lift up. What you're doing is picking up hair out of the bundle and then moving it down. You see how the bundle, it was a little bundle of hair, now it's all straight. So now my bundle of hair is down here. So I'm going to go over to this side, pick up, move down. You see how that smoothed out? And so I'm just going down. And it goes really, really fast. I'm doing it now, but you can't see me because I'm just going so fast. Picking at that bundle. And also I want to mention my hand, as you can see, my hand is holding the hair. When I'm picking at that bundle, my hand being here prevents me from putting any stress on this hair. If I didn't put my hand here and hold the hair, I could. it's possible that I would break these strands off from the force. So I put my hand here to say, okay force, you only stop right here because this is the only hair that I'm combing. Okay? And I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, leave me a comment down below. And so I'm just going through. And I work my way down. Okay, and one last thing. When I'm combing, and there's that bundle of hair, if for any reason when I lift up, I'm not able to pull the bundle down, just say there's a knot. A knot versus tangles. I use this first tooth of the comb to pick at the knot. I get it and I just pick at it. Basically I'm pulling hairs out of the bundle, out of the knot. And it goes really fast and I'm so used to doing it that you know sometimes I forget to um, tell y'all so I just wanted to share that. I'll just twist my comb so that I'm only able to use that one tooth. And it's going down to 20 inches.